Harvey Weinstein, once one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. A name in filmography known around the world. But that fame turned to infamy as dozens of sexual assault allegations exposed a dark reputation the movie mogul had long tried to hide. On October 5th, 2017, Jody Cantor and Megan Tuohy released a story with the New York Times that centered around a number of allegations made by different women against Harvey Weinstein. This included famous actresses like Rose McGowan and Ashley Judd. That very same day, Weinstein issued a response to the New York Times article saying he was raised in an earlier time when the rules and behavior about workplaces were different. He followed that with an apology, saying that he had, quote, a long way to go. Weinstein also announced that he was taking a leave of absence from the Weinstein company. A few days later, it became clear Harvey Weinstein had actually been fired by the board of directors of the Weinstein company. On October 10th, 2017, The New Yorker published an article by journalist Ronan Farrow detailing even more damaging allegations against Weinstein. Then more women came forward. Cantor released an article with accusations from Hollywood A-listers like Angelina Jolie, Gwyneth Paltrow, and many others who wanted to share their stories. And Georgina Chapman, Weinstein's wife, announced she was leaving him. The film industry was quick to react to the Harvey Weinstein allegations. On October 14th, Weinstein was expelled from the Academy. Five days later, Tom Hanks told the BBC there was no way back for Weinstein, predicting, quote, his last name would become an identifying moniker for a state of being, for which there was a before and an after. On February 2nd, 2018, BAFTA officially terminated Harvey Weinstein's membership. Then on March 19th, the Weinstein Company officially declared bankruptcy. This process voided all the non-disclosure agreements it had reached with Weinstein's accusers. On that day, the company released a statement saying, quote, no one should be afraid to speak out or coerced to stay quiet. The company thanks the courageous individuals that have already come forward. On May 25th, 2018, Harvey Weinstein turned himself in to the NYPD. He was facing sexual abuse and rape charges. He's released the next day on $1 million bail. Weinstein was charged with two accounts of forcible sex acts against two unnamed women, one in 2013 and one in 2014. He pleaded not guilty to both. In July of that year, Weinstein faced a new charge of predatory sexual assault for a case from 2006, where he allegedly forced a woman into oral sex. He pleaded not guilty to this as well. Over the course of the next few months, more women came forward to allege they were assaulted. By October 2018, there were six official charges of sexual assault against Weinstein, but one was thrown out by the court. On December 11th, 2019, the now bankrupt Weinstein Company reached a settlement deal with Weinstein's alleged victims. $25 million was split amongst nearly 30 women, mostly actresses, although some accusers objected to the deal. On the same day, Weinstein appeared in court hunched over a walker. On January 6, 2020, Weinstein's trial finally began in New York City after already being delayed once. Many of his accusers stood outside the courtroom making speeches before the jury selection began. The trial means so much to so many. In Los Angeles, county prosecutors announced new charges of sexual assault and rape by Weinstein as well. This is an NBC News special report. Here's Kate Snow. Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news. A verdict reached in the closely watched trial of Harvey Weinstein, the once powerful Hollywood producer who was charged with five felony counts of predatory criminal sexual assault and rape. On February 24th, Weinstein was found guilty on one charge of third degree rape and one count of criminal sexual act in the first degree. He was acquitted, however, of predatory sexual assault and first degree rape, the top criminal charges of the trial. This conviction can carry up to 29 years in prison. Weinstein still faces the charges brought against him in Los Angeles. The allegations against Harvey Weinstein sparked a movement demanding transparency and accountability across the globe, forever reshaping the conversation around sexual assault and abuses of power.
Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.